power x plus 2 to the power x equals 68. Now, at first glance, you're like, oh, this looks chill. I can do this in my sleep. And then you try, and suddenly you're like that meme guy with all the math symbols floating around his head. Yeah, that's what this problem does. All right, let's go step by step. We got 8 to the power x plus 2 to the power x equals 68. Now notice, 8 and 2, these two numbers are related, like that cousin who shows up at every wedding and eats all the food. 8 is basically 2 to the power 3. Yep, 8 is just 2 in beast mode. It's like Charmandra evolving into Charizard. Now, let's rewrite. 8 to the power x is equal to 2 to the power 3 raised to x. And you know the rule, when you have a to the power m raised to the power n, it becomes a to the power m times n, which means 2 to the power 3 raised to x equals 2 to the power 3x. Smooth. So now the problem is 2 to the power 3x plus 2 to the power x equals 68. Moving on to the next point. If this looks messy, don't panic. This is where substitution comes in, like when your teacher is absent and a substitute teacher walks in. Sometimes it's scary. Sometimes it's a blessing. Today, it's a blessing. So let's set y equal to 2 to the power x. That makes life so much easier. If y equals 2 to the power x, then 2 to the power 3x becomes 2 to the power x all cubed, which is y cubed. So the equation turns into y cubed plus y equals 68. Aha! Cleaner than my desk after mom yells at me. And hey, friends, please consider subscribing. I'm on a desperate mission to hit 1,000 subscribers before my mom stops asking if YouTube is just a hobby. Now, come to the point. We've got y cubed plus y minus 68 equals 0. This is a cubic. Cubics are usually the dark souls of algebra. Painful. But don't worry. We can try small integer values. This is the fun part. Guessing. Yeah, math actually lets you guess sometimes. Let's test y equals 2. Then 2 cubed plus 2 equals 8 plus 2 equals 10. Bruh, too small. Math just said try again. Now y equals 3. 3 cubed plus 3 equals 27 plus 3 equals 30. Still too small. Getting warmer, though. Now y equals 4. 4 cubed plus 4 equals 64 plus 4 equals 68. Oh, that's it. Perfect fit. That's like hitting the jackpot on a slot machine or like guessing your Netflix password on the first try after six months. So we found it. Y equals four. And remember, Y equals two to the power X. So two to the power X equals four. Now, what power of two gives us four? Easy. Two squared equals four, which means X equals two. Boom. Answer, X equals two. Write it down before your brain forgets. But hey, let's not celebrate too early. Always check. If x equals 2, then 8 squared equals 64, and 2 squared equals 4. Add them up. 64 plus 4 equals 68. Exactly. Chef's kiss. Perfect solution. Now, let's rewind for a second. Imagine if you didn't think of substituting y. Some of you would be sitting there trying to directly solve 8 to the power x plus 2 to the power x equals 68. Like, uh, maybe x equals 1. No. Maybe x equals 3. No. Maybe x equals 17. That's when math just looks at you and says, bro, do better. So the real trick here wasn't heavy calculations. It was spotting the relationship between 8 and 2. That's why I keep saying math isn't about memorizing formulas. It's about seeing patterns. Math is basically just pattern recognition, like noticing how every group project has one hard worker, one ghost member, and one guy who just brings chips. Anyway, the final answer is nice and clean. x equals 2. Now, if you survive to the end of this explanation, you deserve a medal, or at least a cookie. And hey, drop a like so YouTube's algorithm knows we're not just doing boring math, we're solving problems with memes, baby, and comment below your favorite math meme. I might use it in the next video. All right, class, that's a wrap. Don't forget, math doesn't have to be scary, unless it's trigonometry. Then yeah, it's kind of scary. Peace out.